Hey guys, here we are back at the old craft table build. Uh, it's the Monday before Easter and I'm making some good progress. I hope to have this done by Friday, but that's a big hope. That's all I can say. So I'll just continue on and uh, give you little updates of what I've done so far. What you're seeing right now is basically what my table is going to look like. Uh, the dark the dark spots you're going to see on the wood, that's freaking maple. If I have one recommendation, it's to not make a craft table using maple. It is some hard, hard shit, and it's tough cutting it. I've gone through a number of saw blades. Uh, even, even the Bosch router has a little bit of trouble with it. Other than that, though, I like how it looks. It's just a son of a bee to, to work with. So I'm not sure what I showed you the last video, but as you can see... Chip rails all routed out. I got some chips sitting in them. I'll give you a little tour. Corners were a little bit tricky to do. Um, I'll show you the jig on the router. They turned out all right. I'll sand some of that, that burnt shit out of there. And hopefully I can get rid of most of it. But uh, whatever. It's character. I got the spacers put in. Um, the back rail. I just cut those out of maple as well. This corner here. You can see it's got burn marks too. I routed the chip rails out with an inch and five eighths uh, uh, round nose bit. Actually worked excellent. Uh, didn't put didn't put rails around the corner. I just thought I'd put a block there. I'll route. I'm going to route all these edges yet to smooth them out. I think it's going to look all right. I don't know why I cut my edges like that, but I did. I got to fill that shit in, but I'll figure that out. Um, the chip rails are four and a half inches wide. What I strived for was about a half inch of uh, edging right here and a quarter inch in the middle. I came close. It's good enough. Um, I've got on the box here, you can see, uh, there you go, that's a little bit better. Uh, I just did some railings there, routed out the underneath. It fits right over the inch and a half wall real good. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do up here. I'll do some routing in there and, and I'll tidy that up. There'll be a, a, a one of these uh, blocks, block spacers. I'll put a block spacer in there like that to finish it off. Um, other than that, oh, the other thing for my, for my bumper rubber, I don't know if you can see there, I put the blocks in. The bumper rubber is going to come right around. It's going to stop right where that chip rail stops and come straight down. And then I'll put cells along that side. And I might even put a mirror there. That's not going to be done by Friday, but that's no big deal. Okay. The jig that I used on my Bosch router. There you go. It's not too fancy, but it, it did the trick. I set it at the one depth. I set it at the outside depth first. Moved it back, uh, I think, two and a half inches did the inside. It actually worked pretty good. Made a freaking shitload of a mess, though. But we'll get that all cleaned up. And, uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the build so far. Today I'm hoping to have... Uh, i got to pull all the rails off. They're just sitting there. They're, they're not attached. I'm going to pull all the rails off, uh, set them down on the floor in order. I'm going to put the bottom felt on. I'm actually going to put a felt underneath my layout just to make it a touch softer. Uh, hopefully I'm going to have the bottom felt on and I might even have the layout cut ready to go on tomorrow. I'm going to route the edges and maybe even tomorrow I'll throw another video up. Um, so that's about it for now. The Bud Light's still going down good. So until next time, uh, just remember the dice have no memory. We'll catch you in a day or two.